I'm with Vincent Rabel. He's the director of marketing for Mazda Canada. Welcome. Thank you. The new CX-9. It's, it's looking beautiful. It's The original one has been on the market for a while. Is there any reason behind the timing, the delay in the timing, before we're seeing this new one? No, it's no delay. It's part of the cycle plan to bring this uh, new generation of CX-9. It's now complete our total product cycle plan for all the six generation models introduction. So CX-9 is the last embodiment of that strategy and I think it's coming at the right time. In this segment, the Highlander and the Pilot sell really well, but they're also in short supply. Do you see that as a plus for bringing out the CX-9 now into that segment? I think it's anyway a very good timing for us because we just introduced the uh, CX-5 first in the, in the smaller segment, then we had the subcompact SUV CX-3. So now the CX-9 is completing the overall CX lineup for us. So as a portfolio for Mazda, it's a great opportunity. And it's also a segment booming here in Canada. So it's a good time for bringing this uh, new version of the CX-9 to the market. As we talk about the rest of the vehicles in the segment, most of them are V6, or at least the V6 is available. This is the V4 Turbo. Is that enough for this car? Is this going to be the one that will compete against those V6s? That's the challenge that uh, Mazda Incorporation has taken, bringing a 2.5 litre turbo engine with the Skyactiv family. And actually the performance is absolutely phenomenal. You get a sufficient torque to deliver a great driving performance. And I don't think we're sacrificing anything related to any V6 or V8, so we're going to be good. When we talk about power, it, what's the tow capacity of this car if someone's going to toss a trailer onto it? The towing capacity is similar to the uh, running out model, so we stay in consistent model of our model. When we look inside, it's very swank. The designing is beautiful on the outside. What are we seeing inside? What's your favorite part of the interior? A couple of things. First, it's really the uh, enhanced refinement on the overall treatment of the inside. The beauty with this new model now is that we are bringing a, a new version called Signature at the top of the trim and that's bringing some additional features like Napa leather, we have some wood execution on the panels which is really, really exciting, beautiful. The demographic, the people that are going to buy this car, who do you see as your target audience for this car? It's a combination. It's a combination of people who are still thinking for great driving performance but in the meantime they have also some needs like family needs. It's a three-row vehicle so there's, that's addressing also a lot of a family needs. Excellent. Thank you so much, Vincent. This is actually looking amazing as we see it turning behind us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.